Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know about a new widget that Microsoft has rolled out to the Windows 11 widget board. So if we head to our widget board and we click on Add Widgets, I noticed this morning we have a new Instant Play. Now this was added with the most recent update to the web experience pack from a Microsoft store which rolled out in my region today on the 29th of March and I have always noticed that when the web experience pack does roll out to some extent or the other the Windows web experience pack which is a system component I have noticed to some effect or the other that this always seems to add some change or bring a new feature to the widget board so the two are very interlinked so um if you are wanting to see the new instant games um, widget just check that your apps are all up to date because this is a system component and when this up updates to the, win the updates the windows web experience pack it will introduce that new widget now something just to take note of is although it's available every time i click on it to add instant play and i pin it it says unable to pin widget at this time try again later and I have restarted a couple of times and I'm not getting it to actually pin so you may have better um, better, better luck than me so to speak and as I have posted a couple of weeks ago actually and that video will be in the end screen if we head to our setting our settings we can actually uh, turn off our news feed show a hard feed my feed we can turn that off there we go and now what this does is, all it does is it um, introduces the widgets and turns off the news feed. And if I head back to add widget, just with the widgets displayed without the news feed, instant play, the same applies. Doesn't want to pin that widget. So um, I don't know if this is a bug or it's going to be rolled out officially with a server side. No idea, but just letting you know that if you are into widgets or maybe are into gaming as an example, that this new instant play widget is available. And obviously, as the name implies, it's a widget with games. And obviously, if you click on that, you can play those games um, as it says instant play. And something else to take note of is if we just we, um, turn on our news feed once again. And we head back to our main widget board. You can see here that we have play. Now, this has been around for a long time. Where you've got all these little games you can play now and so on. And that obviously opens that up in Microsoft Edge where you can play that game online without having to download it to your computer. So at this stage, it seems that this instant play widget is very similar to um the play that we get on the widget board and i think the reason for this is because if you turn off your news feed it removes that play section on the widget board where you get access to those games obviously microsoft now although it's not functional yet on my system obviously microsoft is now giving you the option to pin those games as a widget to your widget boards because if you haven't got your newsfeed enabled you don't see that play at the top and then obviously you can play the same games more or less from that widget which if you click on will open up in edge and then you can play them online without having to download them to your computer so that's some summing this all up but nonetheless there we have it instant play is a new widget um, that's rolled out now with that latest windows web experience pack update from the microsoft store so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one